Hello, I am Pete Koval, Clinical Associate Professor from the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill Eshelman School of Pharmacy. Fourth year students in our school who participate in the Clinical Scholars Program are required to conduct a research project during their fourth year clinical rotations in one of the ten area health education centers of North Carolina. Each research project is required to be presented at a state or national meeting prior to graduation. We used the virtual world of Second Life to create a poster defense session which allowed faculty from across the state to ask questions and provide feedback prior to the student's live poster presentation. So it'd be good to know how many more you might need. So um, I hope you get that answer soon. <laughs> I do too. mechanism of increased renal clearance and why would vancomycin be subject to that difference? Um, typically these patients do have an increased metabolic rate. Um, that's another thing you could think about too. Um, you know, we do know that some of vancomycin is actually cleared through the hepatic system. Um, so that's another thing to think about. And you're going to get right. a survey, survey within the next couple of days to fill out. It'll be in Survey Monkey. All right. Glad to be of service. I'm signing out. So long. Thank you, Bruce. Have a good evening. All right. Same to you. I'm glad the dean to came those. to a poster that he could find useful. He probably, I don't know whether he just lucked out or cherry picked, uh, but it worked, and that's what matters. Well, that's uh, good. Is that, yeah. uh, that they will all get, and I will have to admit that I think that most of the residency programs, even the ones that don't offer teaching certificates, also uh, provide some of those same activities. These are all hospital residencies, right? Not community residencies. Correct. Uh, they were the, the, the original survey group was the ASHP accredited. Uh, well, hospital residencies, not the not community residencies, which are springing up more commonly now. Okay. And um, one of the safeguards we have, and if you if, if you could see, it's highlighted in yellow. Um, it just is on the ibuprofen order, and it says, "Do not give while receiving Toradol." You could or report the FRAC score in addition to like how many patients were on benzos. Oh, how many Thank patients. you very much. This is very good stuff. It was nice meeting you. Likewise. Take care. Take care. Following the virtual poster presentation, students and faculty expressed that this virtual experience was similar in several ways to real-life poster presentations. The interactions of this formal poster session were well received by all participants.